Hey guys, me Allie. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a great start to your day. I'm here today to do a review and an unboxing on the Munch Pack. Now I've heard really great things about the subscription service, so I'm really excited to give it a go today. For those of you who are unfamiliar with what Munch Pack is, it is a $21 a month food subscription service. Now they're going to send you snacks from all across the world. Although some of these snacks are going to be healthier, organic snacks, most of them are just going to be snacks for snacking purposes. You know, the type of snacks you're going to want to take to the movie theater with you. They also have a bigger box that is $39 a month, and that is called their Family Pack. If you have any other questions about Munch Pack, I will leave their website below. And as always, just ask any questions or comments in the in the comments below or concerns and I will answer them as soon as possible. I'm really hungry so I'm going to cut this intro short and we get right into the unboxing. Okay, so before we begin, can we just take a moment to appreciate my Halloween nails? I did these yesterday. I was so proud of myself. I think they came out great. I love the little Jack Skellingtons. So I just wanted to show them off for a minute. Aren't they so cute? We have the little Frankensteins, the little Jack Skellingtons. We have Jack-o'-lanterns, the scene from Nightmare Before Christmas, and then Spiderwebs. Yay! Okay, let's get into the unboxing. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you open up the box. There's just a ton of stuff in here. And I'm just going to kind of go hog wild and just pull everything out. The first thing that I'm pulling out is Happy Promise Choco Pie. I used to love these when I was a kid. So these are the little cookies and they have the marshmallow filling in the middle and they're dipped in chocolate. Delicious first item. I'm not going to try every single snack in here because I'll probably get sick, but I will link in the description below what I really liked and what I really didn't like, and I'm hoping the didn't like has nothing in it because I hope I like everything in this box. So the first thing is Choco Pie. Moving right along, the next thing that I am pulling out is in a different language. This is by Jinbis Dream Animals Butter Flavored Biscuits. I think that's Japanese or Chinese, but I think it's Japanese. And these look like little animal crackers. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Look how cute the packaging is. The next thing I am pulling out also seems like it is from a different country. I don't know. Um, I wanna say it's chocolate chip cookies. There's 24 of these in here. And it says chocolate chip Bourbon cookies. Ooh, bourbon. Hey. And I don't know what language that is. I'm sorry. Yeah, these are cool. Next thing I am pulling out is Curly Whirly by Cadbury. What is a Curly Whirly? This is in like a hundred different languages in the back. You know, this subscription is really awesome for trying foods from all over the world because I would probably never ever try this if it wasn't for this box and I would probably never even know that these existed if it wasn't for this box as well. This Curly Whirly, oops, I just broke it. Okay, so it's definitely not taffy. It feels like it's chocolate, but it's a Curly Whirly. Moving right along. I have no idea. It's really hard. It doesn't look like a cookie. I know that it's in plastic wrap and I can't smell it, but I have not a single clue. But I'll try it out later and let you know how it is. Not the best packaging for this one. All right, moving along, I'm doing the wafers. These are just one of my favorite things ever. I used to snack on these all the time as a kid. These are the little wafers with the little, um, I don't know why I keep saying little, with the chocolate in the middle, and it's layered wafer chocolate, wafer chocolate, wafer chocolate. And this looks like it might be hazelnut, which, what's up? That sounds good. And these are by Balcony. And it looks like it's from Italy. Moving along, I am getting Haichu. And this is in grape. I heard really good things about this. I actually watched somebody's unboxing from this, from the Munch Pack, and they said they got high chews, and these were kind of like a now and later. I love now and laters, and they're just fruit chews. And this is in the flavor grape. Next thing I am pulling out is Smoky. I don't know what a Smoky is. <laughs> so like I said, a lot of these are just items that I would have never tried before. So the subscription is really awesome for just kind of going out of your comfort zone snack wise. 
These are by Stark. And these are Puff Snacks with Peanuts. So on the back, what I like about what Munchpack does, they're giving you, for all of these items that are in different languages, they're giving you like these little um, nutrition, what are the, what's that called? They're basically giving you a description of what it is on the back, and they have it in English for you. So again, these are Smookies. Next thing I'm pulling out is chocolate wafers. Again, I just said I love chocolate wafers. This is from Gourmet Delight, coated with real milk chocolate. There's a ton of stuff in here. The next thing, oh, Cheetos. Mass Producto. This is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt this, don't laugh. Cheetos Torciditos, Torciditos Nacho. I apologize if I just butchered your language, I tried. These look like just nacho Cheetos. Um, these are Hecho de Cereal de Maize. I think it means corn. Corn chips, I think. Um, by Chester Cheeto. I mean, I love Cheetos. These are my favorite snacks. So I'll try these out and let you know if these are just the cheddar cheese flavor or if they're like an actual nacho flavor. Moving right along. The next thing I am pulling out is Cheritos. Christina. These are corn sticks. Frita de masa de maize. I think, again, that my I think the maize, or it's corn. So I'm thinking that these are another corn snack. These are authentic homemade taste. And these are corn dough, coconut oil, canola oil, and salt. So they must just be like a little crispy corn snack. This is really fun. There are a couple more things in here. The next thing I am pulling out is a gummy cat. I hate gummies so I'll just give this away I'll give this to my niece and this is I mean the cat's upside down let's flip her over it's just a black cat I like that because Halloween's right around the corner two more things the next thing that I am pulling out is sour smog balls these are toxic taste brand what crunchy candy with a sour chewy center what is a smog ball? I don't understand. They feel hard. I mean, I'm not saying I won't not like these because I like everything that's bad. These are candy from Candy Dynamics. And this is from the United States. Smog balls. What is a smog ball? I'm unsure. We're definitely trying these out after. And the very last thing that is in the box is another thing that's in a language I can't tell you about. Sorry, this says 99. And it's delicious food, delicious food. This, everything is in another language and they don't have one of those little labels. So this is made in Taiwan. I couldn't even tell you what this is. I apologize. But that is everything that came in the Munch Pack box. I actually really liked this box a lot. I mean, I don't know if I would subscribe to this every month, but it's definitely something that I would subscribe to maybe every other month. These were really fun things to try out that I never would have tried out in the first place. Last thing to enter to win a free munch pack for you and your friend, capture the moment, take a picture and record your videos of your unboxing experience. Step one done. Share your experience, upload your pictures and videos using the hashtag munchpack. So if you're interested, order the box and do this. <laughs> So again, yeah, I really like this. Let me know what you thought about this box. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Thumbs up if you like this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. And I love you guys so much. I'm going to taste test some of these snacks out. And that's pretty much a wrap. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, so I just counted, and for the $21 a month box, you get 15 snacks. I don't know if that's 15 snacks every single month, or it just so happened that this one had 15 snacks, but this box gave me 15 snacks. The first thing I'm going to try out are the high chews. Let's give it a go. Ooh. Okay, is this gum? This smells just like bubblicious gum. They're tinier than now and later's. They're more rectangular. They actually only have a color in the middle. The outside is white. Mmm. 
Okay, this is a very, very, very chewy. High chew. They have an overwhelmingly great taste. That's actually fantastic. Very chewy though. Now and later's more have like a taffy feel to them. These have more of a rubbery feel to them, but I don't want that rubbery feeling to sound like it's gross. It's actually really good. And they're very, very great. Very great flavored. Mm. These taste like the grapes my grandma used to have. Outside our house, she used to have a grapevine. These taste like just like those grapevine grapes. So good. This is delicious. Okay, so I have to try these just to know if they are actually the Cheeto flavor, the cheddar cheese flavor. Okay, they, t they smell different. These are definitely like a nacho flavor. I love me some Cheetos. Yeah, these are not the regular cheddar cheese flavor. These, feel, these taste like nachos. I wonder if we have nacho flavor in America. Because these are really good. Mm -hmm. I'll eat this whole bag within 10 minutes. See you later. So good. These are delicious. Just because I'm interested on what a curly whirly is, I'm going to chest this one out. I want to say it's going to be chocolate. Yeah, it's chocolate. Oh, it looks like there's toffee inside. I hate toffee. No, it's caramel. Thank God. I hate toffee. Mmm. This box is making me very, very happy. This tastes like Carmelo's. I don't know if you have Carmelo's where you're from. I'm sorry for talking with my mouthful. It's like stuck to all my, all the gums in my teeth. But um, these taste just like a Carmelo. I'm gonna try two or three more snackies out and the next one I'm gonna try is the Dream Crackers because the packaging is awesome and they remind me of Animal Crackers. panda. So cute. Can you see it? The cute little panda. All right. Those don't smell like a cookie. They smell more like a cracker. And this is the bear, if you couldn't tell. Okay. Delicious. Not what I was expecting. I was expecting a cookie, like a sweet flavor. These are more of a savory flavor. These... This tastes like something I would eat when I'm making chicken soup and I want to dip my crackers into chicken soup. Again, delicious, but totally not what I was expecting. I'm going to try out the ox. Mm. Like I said, very good, just definitely not what I was expecting. Bourbon cookies. They're so tiny. I mean, not my favorite, but no, not my favorite. Sorry. And the last thing I am going to try because they're smog balls. I just have to, I have to find out what a smog ball is. They're very colorful. Oops, just dropped them everywhere. I'm going to try a blue smog ball out. They're chewy. Oh, and they're sour. Wow, those are good. Wow, those are really, really awesome. Oh, I'm gonna need this whole bag. Yep, these are great. All right, thanks guys so much for watching again. I love you so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.